Are you smart enough to go to medical school? That question has been thrown to me the last couple of weeks. I thought I'd finally make a video about it. And really guys, it comes down to one simple question. And whether you answer yes or you answer no, you're going to know if you are smart enough. So you guys wanna know what that question is? We're gonna to get to it after this intro. <laughs> Alright guys, what is going on? Lux here from the MD Journey, helping you succeed on your medical journey with less stress. If you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. I am a fourth year medical student who has been helping both pre-meds and med students on their journey for the last two and a half years with study tips, productivity tips, and a little bit of a hint of motivation. So if that mission statement sounds exciting to you guys, then go ahead and first of all, give this video a like, and then subscribe to the channel and join the community. And before we get to this video, quickly wanna say, if you're in interested in learning exactly how a med student studies and is efficient and cuts the study time in half, if that sounds exciting to you, then check out in the link description below a nine part video series that's completely free where I break down exactly how I studied from start to finish my first two years of med school and just crushed it. So again, that's in the link in the description. Go ahead and check it out if you're interested. But let's get into the topic of today, which is, am I smart enough to get into medical school? Really that question comes from a couple of comments that I've gotten which basically have said something along the lines of, you know, it's easy for you to give these tips, you're, you're too smart, or um, I'm not smart enough, you know, you make it look too easy, or I'm already struggling as a high school student or as a pre-med, I just started medical school and, you know, I don't think I can obtain where you're at currently. So. I, I get those questions, you know, I probably had those at one point or another in my own journey, but I really want to break it down as simple as possible. And if you answer yes to this question, really you answer yes to these mini questions, then the, the answer to whether or not you're smart enough is yes. So it's simple as this one question. So before I get to the broader question, let's ask you a simple, shorter one. So think about studying. Think about studying as hard as you possibly can. You have a quiz coming up, you have a test coming up. Now, if I asked you, you know, can you study for that test or quiz as hard as possible for one day, what would you tell me? You say, I'm probably doing that already. Yeah, I can do that. What if I said two? What if I said a week? You know, that probably wouldn't phase most of you because you're probably doing it on your journey wherever, wherever you are. Now, what if I said a month? What if I said a few months? Most of you would still say, you know, I'm on board. I can do that. I can put in the work. I've been doing it. And yes, I can be consistent. Can you do it for a year? Uh, again, most of y'all will probably still say yes. Now, what if I said years? You know, if I had asked that question first, most of you probably would start giving me the doubt that you're probably feeling right now, which is you're going to give me some excuses. You're gonna say, I get distracted too easily. I can't stay focused. I'm not a good learner. Uh, I'm not smart enough. And so you're going to convince yourself that you can't reach a goal because you can't do it for several years, but if you can do it for a day, if you can do it for two, if you can do it for a week, a month, and a year, then you can do it for years, guys, and that's really what it boils down to. To think if you're smart enough in medical school, you gotta ask yourself, can I be consistent of high effort for long periods of time? And if the answer is yes, it comes down to as simple as that. If the answer is yes, you are smart enough to get to this position where I'm at and being able to help other students in the future. And now, some of you guys may you know, take my word for it, others still may be a little skeptical. So let me break it down with something that I love to call my snowball analogy. And to explain it, I first want to, to consider maybe some other fields outside of medicine. You know, think about things such as being a bodybuilder, uh, being a great um, person that plays an instrument, such as pianist. Uh, think about somebody that's an amazing singer or an athlete. You know, you may look at that individual the same way that you look at going into medical school, which is that's probably unobtainable for me. That person is at a different level and I can never get it. I'm not smart enough or I'm not good enough singer or I'm not, you know, athletic enough, whatever it may be. You'll come up with an excuse and you'll say, I cannot get there. But what did that person have to do to get there? The bodybuilder had to work day in and day out to get to that physique, to get to that strength. The singer had to work day in and day out, regardless of what talent they started with. The athlete had to work day in, day out, and train to get to their skill level. It really boils down to this. Here's a snowball analogy for any of you guys that still aren't convinced. How do you build a huge avalanche? How do you build a huge snowball? It really comes down to, as corny as it sounds, one snowflake at a time. You know, if you can do little bits of effort and keep it 
consistent, you eventually will start to roll into a snowball, a bigger snowball, eventually become the avalanche. Right now we look at the avalanche wherever you are in your journey saying, I can't ever get to that point. But that avalanche was basically started at step one too. And you, if, you, if that's where you are, that's fine. You just have to work consistently day in and day out. And I promise you guys, if you are willing to put in the effort for years, it does take you years, then the answer is, can I get into medical school? Am I smart enough? The answer is yes, because if you can study hard today, you can study hard tomorrow, over time, not only will you continue to develop this important habit of working hard consistently, you're gonna become more efficient. You're gonna realize what doesn't work and you're gonna stop doing it. You're gonna become faster when you learn. And that doesn't come from starting number, you know, at the starting point. Um, someone asked me how to improve their memory, how to improve their IQ. And you don't have to be a genius from the start to get to this point of medical school. It comes with time, it comes with practice. So ask yourself again, are you willing to be consistent day in and day out for years? If you can do it for a month, if you can do it for a year, then you can do it for years and eventually get into medical school. Um, so hopefully the analogy helped, hopefully this video helped um, for any of you guys and just kind of calmed your nerves. So once again, guys, the question, are you smart enough to go into medical school is should be really a question of, can I be consistent enough to eventually become smart enough for medical school? I wasn't smart enough for medical school when I started high school. I wasn't there as a pre-med. It took very, uh, you know, many steps to get there. And again, for anyone that puts in the comment, you know, you make it look easy or it's easy for you, you know, a quick personal note for any of you guys that don't know my background story, I come from an immigrant family, from parents that didn't come from much education, are working in the, you know, blue collar jobs. And basically it took me with very little English when I moved to the States to work day in and day out to hopefully knowing that that was going to lead to something. And obviously here I am, didn't know I wanted to become a doctor back then, but I knew hard work was going to get me there and I knew consistency was going to get me there. And here I am. This is the culmination of my hard work. Yours may be completely different, but understand, you know, there's nothing special about me that you can't do. It's just asking yourself, can I be consistent for a long period of time? And yes, again, that is years. But if you answer yes to that question, then yes, you are smart enough to get into medical school. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit of motivation and tough love, but for those of you guys that are leaving the comments, again, I want you to do well on your journey. I want you to pursue your journey. And if this video is what it takes to remind you that yes, you are good enough, you just have to be good enough for long periods of time. Uh, I promise you, you're gonna get to wherever you want, whether that's medical school or a totally different goal. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. One of my goals for this year, guys, and I'm gonna put this on the end of all of my videos uh, until I get there, is to get to 25,000 subscribers. Now, hopefully I can get doing some editing magic over here and adding a progress bar so you guys can see how far I am. And this is what I like to call my impossible goal because I am like 25X is what I need to be able to do in this year. And that's a dramatic uh, increase. So whether I get there or not is a goal and I'm going to be very uh, open and transparent about getting there. So I need your help. You know, obviously if you're not part of the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you did enjoy this video, you think that somebody else could find this message helpful, go ahead and just obviously first hit the like button and two, maybe share it with your friend, your community, Facebook community, uh, your class for your medical school class, whatever it may be. Try to help me get this video and all these lessons uh, into the hands of as many people as possible. Before I conclude this video, I quickly wanted to throw out another option for any of you guys that's saying, I'm not smart enough because maybe I just don't study the best. If you are somebody that's struggling with what you're studying and you want to take it to a different level, if you want to learn how to use proper techniques to first evaluate what you're doing wrong, then understand what those proper techniques are and then learn how to apply those into your own daily life as a high school student, as a pre-med, or as a med student. If that sounds attractive to you, then in the link in the description below, I'll go ahead and link uh, my Level Up Your Studying course. So this, guys, is basically um, my step-by-step -step course on how to study and basically 10x your results in half the time. That's exactly what my students have been able to do so far. So again, that link will be in the description for any of you guys are interested on just improving your studying and taking it to the next level. But that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Once again, give a like and subscribe to this channel. Um, comment down below with your thoughts and ans uh, ask me any questions you guys have and I'll be happy to answer them. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.